Hello everyone, it's Jessica Wilkinson, your Young Adult Services Librarian, and this week's Teen Book Talk is all about romance, so let's get started. The first book is A Bright Place by Kate Shinley. What if you could avenge your own murder? A brilliant young woman gets a second chance at life in this debut YA tale of vengeance, court intrigue, and romance, inspired by classic Chinese tropes. Minxing outsmarts three princes to help the man she loved become king, but she doesn't see Ren's betrayal coming, not until she's lying in a pool of her own blood on the palace steps. As she's dying, Mingjing makes a desperate plea to the gods to turn back time and give her a chance to make things right. Mingjing wakes up two years earlier, her prayer granted, and swears two things. Ren will never become king, and she will never fall in love again. But the timeline in this life has changed. A dignitary gifted with dark magic is threatening her kingdom's peace, and Ren's thirst for power runs deeper than Minxing could have imagined. She finds herself allying with Jai, another contender for the throne. Minxin knows better than anyone not to give her heart to a prince, but in the viper's nest of the royal court, she and Jaya prove a phenomenal team. Can Minxin avert the catastrophe of her past by once again learning to trust, and maybe even love? The next book is Flower and Thorn by Rati Merotra. One girl, one boy, a promise broken, a magic stolen. Arinya has wanted to be a flower hunter ever since her mother disappeared into the mysterious mist of the Ron Salt Flats one night. Now seventeen, Arinya uses her knowledge of magical flowers to help her caravan survive in the harsh desert. When her handsome hunting partner and childhood friend finds a priceless silver spider lily, said to be able to tear down kingdoms and defeat an entire army, Arinya knows this is their chance for a better life. Until Arinya is tricked by an attractive impostor. Arinya's fight to recover the priceless flower and to fix what she's done takes her on a dangerous journey. One, she's not sure she'll survive. She has no choice but to endure it if she hopes to return home and mend the broken heart of the boy she's left behind. The third book I'm going to talk about is Check and Mate by Allie Hazelwood. Mallory Greenleaf is done with chess. Every move counts nowadays. After the sport led to the destruction of her family four years earlier, Mallory's focus is on her mom, her sisters, and the dead-end job that keeps the lights on. That is, until she begrudgingly agrees to play in one last charity tournament and inadvertently wipes the board with notorious king killer Nolan Sawyer, current world champion and reigning bad boy of chess. Nolan's loss is an unknown rookie shocks everyone. What's even more confusing, his desire to cross pawns again. What kind of gambit is Nolan playing? The smart move would be to walk away, resign, game over. But Mallory's victory opens the door to sorely needed cash prizes, and despite everything, she can't help feeling drawn to the enigmatic strategist. As she rockets up the ranks, Mallory struggles to keep her family safely separated from the game that wrecked it in the first place. And as her love for the sport she so desperately wanted to hate begins to rekindle, Mallory quickly realizes that the game's aren't only on the board, the spotlight is brighter than she imagined, and the competition can be fierce. Lee attractive and intelligent, 
and infuriating. These are just three of the great romance books that can be found in the teen area, so be sure to come on in and check them out. Thank you.